Right, I'm set up for a little experiment here um, relating to the BSA A65 with the uh, possible low oil pressure issues and um, on the left is a sample of the oil that's currently uh, in the uh, well in the frame in the tank if you like for the engine on the BSA and on the right is uh, some new oil that I've got that I intend to put in and give a try. Um, the one on the left, I've spoke to the owner, is apparently a 2050 grade from Halfords. The one on the right is a 2050 grade by Morris's, which uh, I often use. Um, I started using it for no better reason than it was conveniently available locally, um, but it is pretty good stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do here is a throwback to uh, when I worked as a marine engineer and we had this very simple apparatus where uh, you could, it was almost like I called it, this, jokingly called it the ski slope, where you'd put, uh, you had two tracks on a little device that stood up at about 45 degrees or so I think it was, and you could put a sample of new oil in one channel and a sample of the oil you wanted to test in for viscosity in the other channel and basically they had a race and um, you could see if uh, one travelled much faster than the other that it might be time for an oil change or something but uh, based on that that's what I'm going to do here. Now I've got these two tubs with similar amounts of oil in and uh, they're both propped up at an angle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the prop away and we're going to watch the oil samples race each other to level out. go and we can see that the one on the left is winning that's almost all the way to the other end now the new stuff there on the right is just closing in it's got that area still to fill in but it's moving um, quite a bit more slowly than the sample on the left so that tells me that it's thicker and that the viscosity is greater so I'm going to try an oil change and I'm going to put some of this stuff in and see what we got. I'll try and hold the camera and put these back onto the prop and just see whether we can watch the oil run back. You can see the one on the left is uh, moving quite a lot more quickly than the one on the right. That's a quite remarkable difference actually. So my next part of the plan is I'm going to start the engine cold with this oil in it and we'll get readings off the uh, pressure gauge which I've got fitted to it and uh, just see what we've got what pressures we've got at the various RPMs then I'll drop the oil then we'll put some of this stuff in um, the engine will have cooled back down by then and uh, we'll give it a try and see if the readings increase the pressure readings increase with this oil in and uh, I suspect and hope that they might do. If I can find 5 PSI we would be comfortably within the factory uh, tolerances according to the uh, service bulletin sheets that I've got to refer to. Um, so what I'm going to do now is a cold start with that oil in, see what we got, change the oil, put that stuff in and hope that we might have slightly higher readings.